I got a little treat for y'all tonight. It's a man I knew as white chocolate. Some might know him as Magic Mike. We are gonna see if he still got some magic in that mic. Uh, I'm down for a little fun tonight. Jada, welcome to Chicago. Thank you. First of all, I saw this film, and I love the first one, but this one honestly blows it out of the water for me. Definitely. And you, as the ringleader, as Rome, truly was the best part. A lot of people are gonna say like, oh, she's the new Matthew McConaughey, but you're not, you're so different than that. You are yeah. like the maternal woman, and you have that great approach, and you call the women the queens. Yeah. It's beautiful. So Thank you. did you get some creative input when the filmmakers were making it? They let you like kind of make your own Rome? They did, because when they gave me the script, it was Rome was a guy. Yeah, so it was written for Jamie Foxx. So Channing called me and he was like, Jada, I really want to bring a sense of responsibility to this movie and I want a female perspective. And I was like, Okay, Channing, I'll yeah. take you up on that. So Channing and Reed and Greg and Steven, they really, they really gave me the reins to kind of put Rome together, and I, I, I appreciate them for that. We had a good time. It was really collaborative. Well, don't send a man yeah, to do to a do woman's, woman's job. job. Right. And you did it perfectly. So <laughs> Thank you. what made you decide? I mean, you've been having such a great career for the last couple decades. Right. What now matters to you as an actor to choose certain roles? Like, what do you look for most these days? You know, mostly these days, I just look for juicy, meaty roles. You know, before, everybody's like, no, you can only do this kind of role, and it can only be with this director. And this, you know, it's all this. This is juicy. Right, you know, and I think I think I'm just less precious. I sure. just got every all of that and all, everybody out of my ear and just like, I just want to have fun. Sure. I've done this a long time. I think I've earned to just have a good time. And so between Gotham and Magic Mike, I'm like, fun. And speaking of Gotham, I mean, you rocked in this movie, but you rocked television this past season <laughs> on Gotham. You, thank Fish you. Mooney, I think, is like the best character from this new series. Wow, thank but you. But the million dollar question is, and I know maybe you can't answer, is is she alive or is she not? Ah, we don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Neither she fell. We don't know. We didn't see her close her eyes. We don't know, but you know that DC very rarely kills off characters. Yeah, yeah that's kind of. Would in you the, be open to coming back for some time? Be open to come back and, and play a little bit, you know. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You, it really has to turn. It, it's really about what the show needs. Sure. How Fish Mooney can service the show, because really, Fish Mooney was simply there to service Penguin's rise. Fair, but I'm Team yeah. Fish, not Team Penguin. Oh, <laughs> give me high five. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So back to Magic Mike, was Will doing extra crunches around you while you were filming just to kind of keep up with these men that were around you constantly? Well, you know, Will stays ready. Oh, he's always ready. Yeah, he's always ready. He's always a cutie pie. Nice. So yeah, he, he, was, he was in perfect shape. Look, I love you guys. This trip has been ridiculous and amazing. So please do not make me give the whole, it's not about how we go out there and do it. It's about getting to go out there and do it together speech that I just gave you. What are you? You're not a fireman. I'm a male entertainer. Oh, yeah. What are we? Male Fuck. entertainers. That's right. Come on. Good idea. Hey, 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 hey. Hold that up. Hold that up. Look, it's not bro time. It's show time. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready. ready. Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's do this. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Male entertainers. And you also, a lot of interesting facts about you I looked up. You're a singer. Yeah. And Left Behind, I love that song of yours. Oh, thank you. So thank you. is that a big side passion for you, singing? Yeah, it's a side passion. It's something that I've done for a long time. And now I just, you know, I watch my kids do it. Sure. Because they're so, I mean, between Willow and Jaden, they're just fantastic. So, But it's something I still do once in a while. I'll do some off shows here and there. Awesome. Well, yeah. it runs in the family. Yeah, it does. Well, back to Magic Mike. You know, there's a lot of dancing in there. And we've been dancing in Chicago for a while now because the Chicago Blackhawks just won the Stanley Cup here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And I read it back in 2010 in Us Weekly. You said that when you're 60 and you're done with the red carpet, you want to get an arm sleeve of yes. what you've always wanted. Yes, I want an arm sleeve. So I'm wearing a Blackhawks temporary tattoo for now. And I know you're not ready because you're not 60 yet and you're far from that's it. That's right. But in the meantime, if you want to celebrate with us, I brought you some temporary tattoos. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank so you. So feel free to fill up that sleeve. I that's, okay. And it goes with my outfit. Go with it. Ready? Yeah. I'll get you a sponge. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you. Congrats on Magic Mike. I hope there's Magic Mike 3 with you, too. Oh, thank you so much. So nice to meet you, Jada. It's nice to meet you. That is too cute.